Hello, YouTube friends and family. Yes, we are in Atlanta with our view of the sky view. You saw that lightning. The sky view wheel in Atlanta. We are at the window. The brand new, spanking new, less than two months open to go, two months ago open window. We are in, oops, I'm almost tripping. We are in a one bedroom, I mean a, a studio deluxe, a studio deluxe on a, with a corner view of nothing much. But I do see the wheel, so I guess that's it. Um, Got a large TV. Got a king size bed. Two nightstands, a clock phone. Got a, a pull out queen sofa, coffee table. TV, sink, the little dishwasher stuff, dishwasher, a little two burner stove, hold up, <laughs> draw with silverware, draw with utensils, and draw with the other little stuff. And again, this is brand new. You got a coffee maker. But you see, I'm looking, right? I'm looking like, where's the microwave? They gave you pretty good dishes. Pots and pans. Strainer. A tiny refrigerator. Which I bought some, you know, some little items to snack on when you get the late night hungries. Okay, here's the blender. Ice bucket. Microwave, more dishes, like an efficient style. And here's where you put your clothing items and a broom. And I'm guessing that's the plunger. I give horrible tours. Don't talk about me in the comments and the other linens. And it's a bathroom, but um, cameraman's in there. So I guess I'll give you a glimpse of that later. But it's a bathroom with a shower. Pretty large bathroom. Um, he's flushing now. So yeah, he'll probably just sleep on the sofa with it folded, knowing him. That's a pretty lamp. I do like the decor. It's very, very trendy. Even the headboard. So here is the Atlanta State. Now when traveling in, a, in cities, I always get the city pass. The play, thing about this place, first, first things first, the thing about this place is you have to valet. Even owners have to valet. I'm like, really though? At $55 a day with full in and out privileges. So you spending two ten on where to put the car. Just, just to let you know if you're planning on coming here. 200, I'm here for four nights. So that's 220 bucks just to sit in my car. So I tried to go around back to self park. It is three garages where you can self park for $15 a night. However, there is absolutely no security. We did some outlet shopping and they say, and I stopped in a lot where there was an attendant that was charging $20. He said, this is not an overnight lot. You cannot park here. And he did warn me. He ain't got nothing to do with the window and they $55. He was like, if you leave something that can be seen, they going in to get it. They may not take the whole car, but they may bust your windows out. So that, and then it starts storming after he said that. I said, well, God say he'll provide and spend these $220. So I got a car to get back in with windows all intact. And my Reebok purchases are still in it. It's just life. <laughs> And what and my Reebok Goodwill Hobby Lobby and all that all that stuff is still in the car. So I did valet. Um, but there's an owner's lounge. If you're an owner, there is an owner's lounge. So I'm gonna go check that out. Maybe I can film a little bit of that. Um, and I thought I did a video and talked about how to own, but if not, I'll go over that again. You can buy these contracts off of eBay still. It, that may start soon come to an end because too many people figure it out. And you may pay two or 3000 for the contract and then pick up the maintenance fees. So if you are interested in owning, that's the way to go. 
You don't have to spend $30,000 to buy into this. You can buy a contract on eBay and still travel with Wyndham under the timeshare points. So, um, we are buying, okay, so in Atlanta and in any big cities, always look for the city pass. There's a city pass that will get us into the zoo, the aquarium, all of that for one price. Um, we got like five or six attractions. We can't ride the sky view on that, which I thought was odd, but we have like five attractions that we can do on that pass, which saves you about $150 a person. So that's what we're doing. And that covers us for our full three days here with full of activities, packed full. So we go into the aquarium, the zoo, the and, and some of this stuff is walking distance. The aquarium, the zoo, the zoo I'll have to drive to, and the natural history museum I'll have to drive to. But the other stuff is like within a half mile walk. They give you a little map with restaurants because we're right across from Olympia, Olympic Park and this is like the hub of, of tourism or whatever. So um, we'll we'll go about and I'll show you some things and, and we'll see and I'll take you on this trip. Hopefully it's better than the last one. I mean, I hope uh, maybe you saw my, see my video. We will see a video about the fish tank boat in Destin. And I'm not, I, I don't know what to say. It was not what I expected of Destin. It is more, I'm a beach person, but I'm not a beach person. You know, I like to look at the beach, but as far as me going to take a boat to a beach and sitting on the beach, that's not for me. And that was pretty much, the fireworks were amazing, you know, but I was just like kind of over it. The food was, you know, mediocre and it was just like, eh, okay, next. So hopefully I'll have a better time at this one. That was my first time in Destin. That will not be one of my, like, I got to go here places that will not be. Um, maybe I'll go again in five years, you know, if they've remodeled. But that's where I am with that. But here I plan on having a great time in my, you know, southern city with my people. If you get my drift. And... That's what I came to do. But stay tuned for more, more details, more views, more sights. And are you out of the bathroom? No, I'm just waiting for you to be done. Well, go sit on the sofa and I will, um, and you get the little table. Go sit on the sofa so I can bypass you. Now, I did go to this place in Destin. I will give them the desserts were good. They had a blueberry buttermilk pie that was delicious. And they had a lemon uh, cake with icing that was very, very good. So, now that was one good thing. And there's a place called Fat Boys that was very, very good. I'll see if they have a Fat Boys here because I'm sure it will be better. But here is the bathroom. Very modern, sleek. Not all that extra, you know, stuff that we don't need. We're not living here, so we don't need drawers in the vanity. Because we're not going to be here that kind of time. So here's a nice, clean shower. It looks like I'm the first one here almost. Or she just finished cleaning the room. But, yeah, this is what... <sighs> I love this mirror. This is a beautiful mirror. Um, This is what I'm more used to. So we're here for... It's Friday, we leave on Tuesday. So we're here till the 9th. Um, and then we'll be home back to reality for school to start and all of that good stuff back to my life and dealing with my squatter situation, which I've been having to deal with that the whole time I'm here. So trying to just get away. And then I got to do a full reset when I get back. I got 50 million things to do. And I have a job interview finally. So wish me luck. Um, we'll be back to show you more a little later. Stay tuned. Good morning. I did. Um, we're leaving today. And I remember that I said I would take you to the owner's lounge and to the pool. So I'm giving you a quick view of the view of the owner's lounge. So from here, you see the Georgia Aquarium. So you can walk there. 
you see the National Civil Rights Museum. You can walk there. World of Coca-Cola, you can walk there. College Football Hall of Fame and Olympic Park. From the owner's suite on the 22nd floor, you also see CNN. And there's restaurants and walking distance of here. Um, so it's a good little thing. But this is the owner's lounge. They give you a car and it's only owner's access to be on this balcony. And I'm guessing those over there are balconies for presidential units, which I didn't get this time. But I think next, my next booking is a two bedroom deluxe though at least so or one bedroom or something to give us a little more space. But, yes, this is the beauty, that is the window. And it's a little room in there with a little ski ball table and they do five o'clock wine tastings, but somebody's in there, so I don't want to um, invade their privacy. Let me see. So you can kind of see from here. And then there's a water, you know some fruit water that was there since yesterday so i won't be drinking it but yeah so that is the 27th floor owner's balcony and lounge you know owner's patio and lounge oh okay so i can get the, the pool from here and that's what i'll do there is the pool it's only three and a half feet there's a bar off under there to the side and then up under where I'm standing, there's a little bit more pool. But it's, uh, what, maximum five feet. They do have the loungers. Um, and some chairs to sit, some little cozy, large egg couches or whatever they are. So that's very nice. And then, like I said, to the right, up under is a bar. And up under me is more pool and more seating. So that's a good little view of the pool. But that is the stay. I do want to thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our activities video. I did want to break this up into two videos. So we will have a video of, you know, pictures and photos and video of the activities that we did get to do. We didn't get to go to the National Civil Rights Museum because they were closed on Monday. So that's something to note. And we're out of here today and I'm not going to wait around till 12 for them to open today. Maybe if they were open now, we would go, but not till noon because I could be halfway home by then. So here is the beautiful Atlanta skyline. And what I have enjoyed, this is a, I'll give this a 9 out of 10 on the vacation trip. The thing that get, took that point off is the parking issues. But other than that, nine out of ten come on out to atlanta make for a great family vacation see the mercedes-benz stadium over there so thank you for watching like comment subscribe to the channel for if, even if you just want the vacation blogs ring the bell for vacation notifications and i do thank you for watching you have a wonderful day let me know what i missed in atlanta in the comments below if it's something i should check out the next time we're here next year um have a great day